we're going to prove the left side is equal to the right side through trig identities here. So I can rewrite the secant, uh, the double secant, the double angle of the secant simply as one over the cosine two theta. And I'll rewrite this. And there's some tricks, there's some trial and error here, but what you're going to end up wanting to use is this identity here, cosecant, uh, the double angle of the cosine is equal to two cosecant or cosine squared theta minus one. It's a cosine, not the secant. All right, so two cosine squared theta minus one. What we're going to do here is um, I, I'm studying this top equation here, and I see that I got a, I've got a two here. So that's kind of an indicator, maybe what I should use. So in this case, I'm gonna use one over the cos. I'm gonna divide through by one over the cosine squared theta on both sides. So it's gonna give me one over cosine squared theta over two cosine squared theta cosine squared theta. minus one over cosine squared theta. This becomes secant squared theta on top. This becomes two minus secant squared theta. That's it, we just proved our trig identity.